Hey everyone, how's it going? Today, let's talk about the Platinum Card. Whenever you think about travel credit cards with lots of perks, lounge access, insurance and protections, and credits, you've probably thought about the American Express Platinum Card. This is the go-to card for many people looking for a premium travel credit card. The Platinum Card has been on my list of cards to apply for for quite a while. And a few weeks ago, the stars aligned and I got the Platinum Card, but not in the usual way. Let's dive in and I'll tell you all about it. Real fast, just wanted to give a shout out to everyone that's subscribed to this channel and been a part of this community. If you want to help me reach 1000 subscribers, hit that subscribe button down below. All right, back to credit cards. The Platinum card is one that I have wanted for many years. The Amex Gold has been in my wallet for quite a while now, so I've thought about getting the Platinum card to start building the Amex trifecta. I'm a big fan of American Express membership rewards points and their transfer partners. So completing the trifecta would give me the best way to earn MR points fast. But for a little while now, I've been over Chase 524 and unable to be approved for a Chase credit card. So I've been holding off on getting the platinum card until I've gotten a few Chase credit cards. However, I've been over 524 for a couple years now, and my lack of patience makes it hard to get under 524. My main push to get the Platinum card now is because I'm looking to take a trip with my family somewhere next spring, obviously using points. So I was looking for a nice sign-up bonus to get a few extra points to be able to make that trip completely on points and miles. Now I will actually be under 524 around when this video comes out in December. But with my family's current spending, I don't think I'd be able to get a Chase credit card, hit that sign-up bonus, then apply for the Platinum card, hit that sign-up bonus, all in time to book a trip for this spring. So I decided to go about getting a sign-up bonus a different way. If you've been around the credit card world long enough, you've probably heard the terms product change, also known as upgrade or downgrade. This is when you take one credit card and request that your credit card issuer change that card to a different one. When you do this, you aren't actually opening a new line of credit, but instead changing the credit card associated with that account and account numbers. This means I was able to request an upgrade from my American Express Gold card to the Platinum card without adding a new line of credit to my credit report, meaning it won't affect my Chase 524 status. Now, most of the time, these product changes don't offer any kind of signup bonuses, except American Express cards do. Recently, I've been getting a lot of offers to upgrade my gold card to the platinum card. In the past, these offers have been for 40,000 points, 50,000 points, and sometimes 75,000 points. However, one day I logged onto my American Express account and was greeted with a 100,000 membership reward point upgrade offer. It wasn't the 125,000 or 150,000 offers that I've seen before, but it was a chance to get a bonus without opening a new card. So I took that offer. This offer was also great because it only required me to spend $6,000 in six months compared to the standard offer, which requires now $8,000 in six months. So besides that massive signup bonus, is the Platinum card worth it? Well, I think yes. The annual fee on this card is $695, but there are loads of credits to help you offset this annual fee. Now in the past, the Platinum card has been called a coupon book because it offers over $1,500 in credits that sometimes need to be used in a very specific way. The main credits that I can take use of are the $200 hotel credit, the $240 digital entertainment credit, and the $200 Uber cash credit. One of the major drawbacks that people have with this card is that annual fee. And that's fair, $695 is a high number. But when we calculate the effective annual fee, which is the true cost of owning the card after we factor in all of the credits that we can use, this card will only cost me $55, which is way more manageable. The other credits that the Platinum Card offers are a $200 airline fee credit, a $155 Walmart Plus credit, a $100 Saks credit, a $300 Equinox credit, a $189 Clear credit, a fee credit for TSA PreCheck or Global Entry, and a $300 credit towards the purchase of a SoulCycle at-home bike. Now with the Platinum Card, you're going to earn membership rewards points. These points are valued at one cent per point, which makes the welcome offer on the Platinum Card pretty valuable. For me, my 100,000 point upgrade bonus is worth $1,000. I made a video a while back talking about all the different ways that you can earn membership rewards points. If you want to see that, I'll link that right up here. Now, after you hit that sign up bonus, your main way of earning membership rewards points is through card spending. 
On the Platinum card, you're going to earn 5x back on flights booked directly with the airline or through Amex Travel, up to $500,000 each year. You'll also earn 5x back on hotels booked through the Amex Travel portal, then 1x back on everything else. With the Platinum card, you're going to receive quite a few perks and benefits for when you're traveling. Let's start off with a big one, lounge access. The Platinum card is definitely king when it comes to the amount of lounges you can get into with this card. Starting off with the American Express Centurion Lounge, which offers drinks, food, and other amenities for those who have been traveling. The Platinum card offers you unlimited access to the Centurion Lounge. You can bring up to two guests or immediate family with you into the lounge, but you'll have to pay $50 a person or $30 for children 2 to 17. You'll earn complimentary guest access if you spend $75,000 or more on your Platinum card in a calendar year. The next lounge you'll have access to is the Delta Sky Club. There's been some drama lately around Delta and their new changes to the Sky Miles program, including access to the Delta Sky Club. Currently, Platinum Card holders have unlimited access to the Delta Sky Club, but beginning February 1st, 2025, the Platinum Card will be limited to 10 visits per year. You can earn unlimited access by spending $75,000 on the card in a calendar year, which is why the date for these changes begins 2025, giving you at least a year to hit that threshold. I also want to point out that a visit includes access to the lounge within a 24-hour period. Other lounges you have access to are escape lounges, Lufthansa lounges, Plaza Premium lounges, and Priority Pass Select lounges. Now, the Platinum Card also offers a few perks for hotels that can really help elevate your hotel experience. First, you're going to receive gold status with both Hilton and Marriott. These statuses can help get you room upgrades, extra points during your stay, and late checkout. With the Platinum Card, you're also going to have access to the Fine Hotels and Resorts collection. This is a curated collection of hotels that American Express has partnered with to offer some benefits for those who have booked through the collection. Those benefits include early check-in when available, room upgrades when available, daily breakfast for two, a $100 experience credit, and guaranteed 4 p.m. late checkout. These are some really great perks that can help elevate your hotel stay. And keep in mind that $200 hotel credit can also be applied to one of these stays, giving you extra value on your trip. The Platinum Card also offers lots of insurance and protections, including rental car loss and damage protection, keep in mind this is secondary coverage, trip delay insurance, trip cancellation and interruption insurance, return protection, purchase protection, extended warranty, and cell phone protection. Now, if you've followed my channel in the past, you'll know the Gold Card has been one of my favorite credit cards. And I would still like to have the Gold Card in my wallet to earn Forex back at restaurants and grocery stores. So after I've gotten the sign-up bonus on the Platinum Card and hit the bonus on the next Chase Card I'd like to get, I'll have my wife apply for the Gold Card and make me an authorized user. This will give us another sign-up bonus and access to those higher multipliers. So there it is, my roundabout way of getting the Platinum Card without actually applying for another credit card, which ultimately does not affect my 524 status. What do you think? Should I have just held out and applied for the Platinum Card normally? Let me know down below. Thanks so much for watching. This channel's getting close to 1,000 subscribers, which is pretty awesome. If you'd like to help push this channel past that milestone, subscribe down below. I'll see you next time.